Hey everybody, welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. I hope you're doing brilliantly well. So today we are going to be getting a message from your person about what they are thinking versus what they're feeling about you and the connection and also what their intentions are. So we have got here the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot and this is your charm with a little angel. And for pile number two here, we have got the Fairy Tarot and your charm is this little fairy. For pile number three, we have got the Guardian of the Night Tarot, and we have got our Tiger's Eye Dog. And for pile number four, we have got the Moon, Ti Moon Child Tarot, and we've got this beautiful quartz crystal here. So if you need a little bit more time to choose, I will leave the video running. Just choose by what feels right as opposed to necessarily what you think you should be picking. So using your feelings is a really um, important way of making sure that your intuition is guiding you into the right message. Okay, I will see you on your readings. Hey, pal number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot and this beautiful angel charm okay so we are going to be asking what your person is thinking and feeling about you and their intentions towards you and this connection but we're going to start with getting some overall sense of the energy of this connection and of your person and seeing what is going on so to start with we have got here the two of water partnership commitment and reconciliation we have got here the Knight of Fire, confident, passionate, and adventurous. And we have got here the Moon, intuition, illusion, and revelation. We have got the Eight of Water, searching, empowerment, and fulfillment. And we have got here the King of Fire, inspirational, charismatic, and innovative. Okay, wow. Well, we're off to a very, very good start, pile number one, because this person absolutely adores you. Um, they definitely see you as somebody that is a long-term, deep, deep committed partnership that they want to run towards. So for many of you, you may not be in a commitment with this person at this point in time, but they are they are running towards you at rapid speed. So this is very likely to be somebody that you know. It doesn't necessarily, though, it could be somebody you're about to meet on the path of your life. Um, but intuitively, you know that they're there and you know that they're the right person. You're sensing somebody in your energy and they are sensing that you're the right person for them. It's like we've got these two lone wolves that are being brought together by the angel here. Um, that is um, about to, yeah, about to bring together some kind of manifestation. And that's because you've been letting go. You've actually been surrendering to your path ahead. You've been surrendering to allow your angel to bring you the right person. And they've been doing the same. And here we've got the king of fire. The person that could be coming towards you could be somebody who is a very confident, strong leader, a very good business leader. Um, so I think for many of you, this is a connection that's about to happen, or it's a connection that's about to really deep and you perhaps were thinking that there's no commitment coming and you're going to have to walk your own path but suddenly they're going to appear and go no 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 I, I really want this to happen so I feel like this is a connection coming together divinely divinely guided and um, for some of you it could be a reconciliation um, for some of you if you don't vibe with that as as a reconciliation it could be that you're about to um Reckon, like come together with your destined future person okay so let us see what this person is thinking at this point in time we have got here expect the unexpected and take the first step and we have got Transformation, realization and liberation, and three of water, celebration, community, and friendships. Okay, I'm just going to get actually a couple of charms to start with what this person is thinking. We have got angels and we have got 
a flying pig. Okay, this is a very much a divine connection. This person is not expecting or didn't expect to meet somebody like you. And in doing so, they are, if they're, if there's somebody that you already know, so I'm going to read this for two scenarios. Okay. So if there's somebody that you already know, then they want to come to you with an offer and they're about to take a step towards making that happen. They've gone through some massive transformation and something is kind of, kind of coming in from the side. It's almost like an energy that's forcing them, an energetic angel that is forcing them to, to make a move towards you to come together with an offer of friendship of some description. Um, and so they are summoning up the courage, I think, to do that. For some of you where you don't know this person, they're suddenly going to appear. Um, and what this person is thinking is that you perhaps they have you have shown up in their life and you were so unexpected that they've just transformed their entire view of what friendship and what love and what romance can be. And they're about to take a first step right with this night, night of fire. They're they're confident, they're passionate, they're ready to they're ready to take a move, to make a move. It you seeing you or meeting you has transformed their life. And if this is somebody who's coming back from the past with this energy of reconciliation coming through here, then this is somebody who's been through a big transformational process. They've become friends with themselves. Okay, so what they're thinking very much is about this reconciliation that one's left behind, so I'm going to take it. Um, so that's what they're thinking, that they feel transformed because of you, because of meeting you, or they're about to transform themselves and then you will meet them um, because they're becoming friends with themselves or you're going to meet them in a uh, friendship group. Okay, so how are they feeling then? And we're going to do how they're feeling on a 3D level, and then we're going to go up to their 5D self and see how they're feeling um, in their soul level energy. So in their physical energy, how are they feeling? Freedom, beautiful, and guide. Wow. Okay. So they're feeling very guided towards you. They're feeling very liberated. They've perhaps been liberating themselves from their own fears of being themselves. So very healthy. We've got nine of fire preparedness and resilience and ego illusion dependency and materialism i love this so freedom is an energy the ego the it's the devil energy is an as a is an energy of freeing themselves from the traps of being um uh beholden to their own um fears and their own um insecurities and also their own selfishness so this person on, on a feeling level is feeling very free. They're feeling that they're prepared. They're feeling that they're ready um, to be with you, pile number one, to be guided to be with their soulmate, the two of water, the person of their dreams. So the, the door here, if you can see that, is open. The cage is open. Their ego is about to come out. So they're feeling, they're feeling liberated from their own fears um, and their own self-delusions. Um, and they've been and they want to protect you they want to actually what they're feeling is they want to be very protective of you as well okay so how are they feeling at a high a 5d level at a at a soul level how are they feeling we've got that one and we have got that one there we have got sexual freedom okay so they feel very much um, in tune with you and worthiness. So at a 5D level, they feel um, very um, uh, romantic and passionate towards you, um, but in a way that's very much about valuing you. So they feel that you are ex an extremely valuable person. Um, what they wouldn't want to do is um, just connect to you on a sexual level, on a on a physical level, they want to connect to you on a mental and emotional level. They see so much value in your entire being, like mind, body, and soul. A night of water, oh, romantic and emotional, and the lovers' relationships. And uh, yeah, okay, all right, wow, okay. So on a five D level, this person just feels so romantically in tune with you, and just they are you are everything to them. This this person is like, you are their person 
as far as they're concerned and they want to romance you they want to enjoy everything every aspect of being with you oh that one's left behind and it wants to um wants to come along so at a 5d level uh that's what they're feeling now we are going to go to um Actually, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to get some general messages here. So we've got some cosmic messages here. So what messages are they receiving from the universe? We've got there are no wrong turns, okay? And then we have got each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so the messages that they're receiving from the universe is just to be true, to be yourself, to, to, to take choices, to not worry about um, what has happened to... to to not hold on to the ego's fears, to continue this transformation. So they're being very, very guided to take actions that are feeling good and to not let their ego get in the way. They're, I think they're really learning to follow signs and synchronicities from this, from the universe. And we've got the Knight of Earth, organized, responsible and supportive and fire, fire, five of water, disappointment, regret and forgiveness. So the universe is prompting them to let go of... Um, things that they have done in the past that they feel guilty or ashamed about that perhaps they have had to recover financially from so the universe is guiding them to become responsible to become um solid and stable in who they are and to let go of what they haven't got and to focus on what they have got and who they are and realize that part of the life's journey is about coming to understand yourself and coming to accept yourself. This person is very emotionally mature and they're listening to their inner wisdom. They're listening to the guidance from the universe. Okay, who influences this person? So who on their external world do they um, do they receive influences from? We've got judge, light attributes, balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. Shadow attributes offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal or criminal authority. And we have got the king. Uh, interesting, that was upside down. So light attributes, enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. And shadow attributes, excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. Two very similar energies. So this person receives influences from um, people who who are fair and compassionate and manage fairness so this person likes to have people around them who have balanced views but they have also been influenced by people who have a desire to have some kind of excess excessive entitlement so i think this person kind of there's a bit of mixed messaging going on in here that this person wants fairness but they can also be dominated by people who are controlling leaders even though i think they're a very good leader themselves um, they have perhaps been controlled by the need to please other more dominant leaders in their past. Okay, we've got Ten of Earth, Prosperity, Security and Tradition, and Ace of Earth, Abundance, Opportunity and Resources. And what this has done, the people that have influenced this person in the past, has made this person really um, appreciate the good things in life, the family, the prosperity, the happiness, the abundance. This person's a go-getter. They're somebody who's got the 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 get up and go to create opportunities for themselves they don't wallow in well they might have wallowed in self-pity in the past or they, they've realized that that doesn't do anything for them this person uh, probably loves animals loves dogs they're good at um looking after their family they're very interested in learning as well um and this person is um this person has got a lot of intelligence and a lot of wisdom okay so what are the blocks to this connection, if any? That one. And slow to come out. Okay, I'm only going to have one because there's only one that wants to come out. So that's good. Okay, normally the crows come in twos. Influence. Okay, so the blocks to this connection are just about other influences that might be going on. And let's see if we can get any information about those. She's gonna take that one as well. Oh, we've got four. Okay, influences, awakening. Okay, pause, perspective, strength, courage, compassion, perseverance. Nine of air, negativity, worry, sleeplessness, and king of air, knowledge, objective, and respected. 
Okay, this is really, really positive. So this person, what has been perhaps blocking this connection, um, because it does feel like it's about to arrive um, or it's about to take a step change, um, that this person has been working through some influences. They've been waking and up, they've been going, going through an awakening process. They've been waking up to themselves. They've been really understanding what energy comes from in, what is their inner power, um, how much persistence they have, how they use their persuasive skills. They've had some processing. They've had some negativity that they've had to process out of their life, and that's been influencing them and how strong they have been feeling. But they also have gained mastery over that. So they have become very objective about their worries, and they have um, uh, become respectful about what their worries are able to deliver to them and respecting their influences and finding the emotional maturity to be able to speak their truth and courage and their mental have the mental power that will give them the ability to say whether they're right or wrong so this post person is very emotionally mature upon number one this is a this is a very switched on tuned in person who's done a lot of self-work okay so what are their intentions towards you We have got heart fog, mixed signals, blocked up emotions, messed up. And we have got beauty, charming, graceful and kind hearted. So this person wants to clear away any um, any um, anything that's stopping them from holding them back. They they feel so much beauty with you. Their, their heart has perhaps been masked a little bit. Um, and we've got the two of fire, planning, partnership and progress. Fantastic. OK, and then we have got the Queen of Earth, gracious, practical and capable. This person is planning their move towards you. Um, they um, they feel that you are very, very worthy. And so they have been um, clearing their own energy of the idea that they are not worthy they are not a worthy partner to your beauty, to, to matching your capability and your intelligence. They have been, um, they, they're planning, they're planning what to do. They're planning perhaps to give you a gift, how to, how to help and make you feel comfortable. Um, so their intentions towards you are very much about coming towards you. They might, they might be seeking the help of somebody, a brother, or um, perhaps if they're older and they have a grown up child, they might be seeking the, the energy of somebody to support them, or they're just following the signs and synchronicities from the universe. So this person is in a planning phase at this point in time. Um, and they're just clearing any, anything out of their system that has been holding them back from meeting you on this path they're perhaps they're on the path to meet you but they can't quite see it yet okay so what's going to happen next we have got sleeplessness anxiety keeps me awake at night we've got that nine of air i don't want to lose you i'm figuring out all what all of this means um the thought of you not being with me really keeps me up at night. So we've just seen that right next to the night of air again as well. And healing. I'm healing pain from my past. I'm working on letting it go so I can be free to fully love you. Your love gives me hope as I'm healing my past and childhood trauma. I just want you to send I just want you to send me love and healing and energy. Okay, so what's happening next? They're still healing, um, but they're now very worried about not being with you. Feel like that one wanted to come out too. We have got justice, fairness, the law, and karma. We've got the Empress, creation, abundance, and action. And we've got the Eight of Earth, education, focus, and details. Okay, this person wants to bring things into balance with you. Um, they are they're perhaps working on a creative project at this point in time. They might have a child that they have that they're looking after or taking care of. Um, but we have got action here. This person is planning. They're, ma they're, they're really focused on um they're really they're focused on finding balance. They're making a decision about how to create action towards you. Um, they might be focused on their abundance and their material world at this point in time. Um, but they're also focusing on the details of what life would be with you. So in terms of action, I'm not yet seeing a huge amount of action, but they're definitely planning that without any doubt. 
Okay, so then we'll just see if there are any final messages to come through for this reading for you, pal number one from the angels, the universe, anything else that we need to know about this connection right now. We have got sad and rebirth, lonely, depressed, mental health, rebirth, new beginnings, healed. Okay, this person is very sad without you. They are going through a transformation process. There are new beginnings coming. It's not far away. We've got this night of fire. There is a reconciliation or a or a uniting or a um or a decision to 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 do something with this relationship that's serious about to happen with this rebirth energy. This person, it's guided, and this person never thought that they would find somebody like you. So they're wanting to be ready, and they're wanting to be in the right energy for you. And we've got the three of air, sorrow, forgiveness, and healing. So more healing. So there's still some healing going on in here. And three of fire. Okay, goals, expansion, vision. This person is ready to expand their life. Um, the threes are very much about... Um, in tarot they are about expansion they're about expression that they're being they're they're being supported they're being guided and um they're they're healed they're really very nearly healed and the healing of their past is now becoming um it's there's a sadness that is about not being with somebody like you pal, pal number one um, so they have a space in their life that they are ready and wanting to fill with a new beginning with you and an expanded vision. And, and they're ready to set sail on doing something new with their life. And, and that definitely involves you, pile number one, for everything that's coming through in here. So be patient with them as they're being transformed. They're on the end, wings of angels. Um, you will be very, very likely mirroring this person if you've been through their own your own healing, your own grief, your own sadness, your own sorrow. And we kind of to get the best out of somebody new, the best thing that we can possibly do is to allow the energy of our past to come into balance and then we can sail forward together in calm, beautiful waters. Okay, lots of um, lots of real positivity and um, yeah, good luck with this pile number one. It's destined to happen very, very soon, if not imminently, because this person, look, I just want to say you're about to bump into them or they're about to give you an offer but they're, they're on your path now. They're on the same path of you. They're just somewhere ahead that you're about to bump into them. And two of water, that's the divine ultimate soul soulmate partnership commitment re reconciliation. So for some of you, you're about to come into partnership. For some of you, they're about to make a commitment. And for some of you, you're about to reconcile. Um, and it's um, it's if there's been a wait, it would all be worth the wait because you're, you've you both been healing and to become strong enough to, to, to set sail to sail off into a new life together. Okay, fantastic. Part number one, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that helps. Take care. Oh, I'll find the off button. Here we go. Okay, take care. Bye. Hey, pal number two, welcome to your reading. You chose the fairy tarot cards and the lovely fairy charm. So we are going to be asking what your person is thinking and feeling and what their intentions towards you and this connection are. So we're going to start with some overall energy to understand where this relationship is at or where your person is at. And we will take it from there. One, two, three, four. I want one more. I can see it there. Five. Okay. So we have got the four of autumn. Okay. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance on spending and saving. We have got the eight of autumn. Do more research before proceeding. Education. We've got the wheel. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck new car or travel we've got the king of autumn okay so compassionate accomplishment charismatic and gifted be assertive when it comes to you know what you know is right and the seven of spring be assertive don't back down um, from what you believe stand up for yourself okay so we have got here two cards that are about being assertive and we have got three cards here about money and we have got a card, the seven of spring, is also about self-protection. It's about understanding yourself, self-expression. And right in the middle, we've got the wheel of fortune. So we've got delays or over. 
this person, I think, has been very focused on their finances or on their studies or on their self-mastery. And you might have not been getting a huge amount of attention from them. And that might have felt um, that you were perhaps getting a little bit self-defensive. You were perhaps or perhaps they were being a bit defensive towards you. So perhaps there have been some barriers up between you. But something's about to shift. This person has been going through a period of learning and up leveling and perhaps they're feeling more financially stable because we've got the king of autumn which is the king of pentacles which is um everything going your way here a good personal company to work for they might have been moving jobs or they might be finding work that has been more meaningful for them they might have just been finishing their studies and here with new car and travel it feels like this has been really paying off for them they're now feeling feeling able to um, put more time into moving forward as opposed to studying how they can actually afford that or pay for that or educate themselves so that they can be ready to do something. So I feel that they're about to um, let down some barriers. They're about to, um, uh, something's about to shift for you. Okay. So I do feel that you're probably in connection with this person, but they haven't necessarily been giving you much attention. Okay, let's get a couple of charms here. We have got a star. Yeah, and it's green, it's purpose. So this car, this person has been very much focused on rising the star of their purpose. <clears throat> oh, lovely. Okay. And we've got heart. And I feel now, now, now they have some time for love. Okay, which is great. All right. So what is this person thinking about you and this connection? Uh, things just lit up there. So I'm just adjusting the light again. Uh, the sun's coming and going outside the cloud, so I'm just going to have to keep going with that. But um, that could be how you feel. It can be really sunny, and sometimes it's really kind of like, oh, you know, it feels a bit dark. But there's definitely love here, so let's follow with that. What are they thinking? Pause, and you are not alone. Okay. And we have got here the Ace of Autumn, a wind full of money advice or assistance a happy change in your career and ego the illusion of being trapped getting caught up with fear and worry so what are they thinking right this person um that one wants to come out as well so we'll just see what this is saying the six of autumn borrowing wisely repaying a debt okay all of this money energy going on in here all of this pentacle energy they have been so focused they've been quite fearful what are they thinking they have been so focused on money that I think they've suddenly they're suddenly about to stop or they've suddenly stopped and go, oh, my goodness, I'm actually with pile number two. I've spent all of this time focusing on money and I need to focus on money because I'm really, really worried. Um, I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to provide. I'm worried about my future. I've got like jobs on my mind. Um, so every so often what they think is they suddenly remember to think about you and realize it's like, oh, I'm not alone. And then it's like, oh, hang on a minute. Right. Uh, change in my career happy I've, i'm on track um my fears are being satisfied and here with the six of autumn perhaps they're perhaps they're about to get a bonus or when they think that they're they've got some money in their pocket that they remember to like look up so somebody who's somebody who's very work orientated okay so that's and they it, you might even have to tell them to take a break to spend time with you OK, so uh, what are they feeling then? So that's what they're thinking. They're thinking a lot about work and they have to kind of deliberately take time out of that to remember to spend time with you. Um, OK, so what are they feeling? A message of warning. Uh, OK. And physical pain. OK, so this person might actually have some physical pain, um, which if they're overworking might not be um, too surprising. Um, there's something that their body's telling them to slow down. Yeah, their body's telling them to slow down. <laughs> I'm sorry for some of you. I've just got an image of you giving them a kick up the arse <laughs> as well. It's like a wet message of warning and some physical pain, like a, a boot, literally, not in a like, but in a joyful way. But it's like, oi, give me some attention. Like you need to worry about how I feel. So pal number two, if this person isn't giving you a huge amount of attention, although they have got like a lot on their mind, um, it is important if you're in connection with them that they do pay you attention to. So um I think, um, you know, maybe that's a message to you as well, which is don't, obviously, I never advocate uh, significant physical pain. That's absolutely awful. But a little a little um, poke, <laughs> oi, 
give me some attention. This is a warning. Okay, so how are they feeling? They're feeling, um, well, we'll just see with these other two cards. Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious, and three of winter. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will go stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal in time. Oh, pile number three. Um, pile number two, sorry. There might be some messages in pile number three for you. I haven't, I haven't read those. So I feel that this person feels really, really a romantic when they're around you, when they remember to look up and to be with you. Um, but I feel that there are dry spells. Maybe you've left them. Maybe you've left them and, and you've given them a warning and you've just said, I'm 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 fed up with this. And then suddenly they realize that they're they're really sad and they're in pain because actually they've missed out on the romantic side of themselves. Um so there is something going on in here that feels like with the physical pain and um needing to say grounded in an emotional experience um maybe you've been giving them ultimatums um they are they're feeling it here with the three of winter it is also physical pain it's an emotional pain so they're feeling it all right they're feeling they're feeling challenged and 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 lost and they're realizing that they need to do something differently so maybe something's happened between you <clears throat> Or you feel like it it might do, or they're sensing that it might do if they don't give you more attention. Okay, so that's on a 3D level. How are they feeling on a 5D level? Okay, well, they really, really do love you. They really want this commitment with you. And Rainbow Reviver, they feel incredibly topped up when they're with you. Look how the, look how the light's catching that. So the, on a 5D level, you light up their life um, and they feel like the luckiest person alive. So they might be feeling that if you're not married that they want to commit to you because we have got this love going on in here um but on a on a material level they're they're just they feel very they just feel very trapped in this cycle of needing to um deliver deliver financially deliver for another boss um okay rainbow reviver we've got the eight of spring okay success that comes from having many things that are happening at once We've got the princess of spring, optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic, and the dreamer, a new start. Embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, trust yourself. On a 5D level, emotionally, what this person is feeling is that they love being around you. They feel so optimistic. They feel like life is life is a great, like life is one great big adventure. Um, so the higher self, when we're talking about 5D level, that's what I'm talking about. So the higher self is basically saying, look, this is this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. You light them up, you make them feel amazing, you make them feel like there's a real zest for life, you give them energy. Um, you help them see a path forward. That one wants to come out here. Um, so there's a huge amount of love here in their in their soul for you, a huge amount of um vibrancy and they feel like they could tackle anything when when they take time to go into their real feelings and out of their head of pleasing and delivering materially. Okay, at a, what's the universe saying to them? So what are the cosmic messages that they're being, being given? Close your eyes to open your heart. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Pile number two, I'm sorry, this person is um, caught up at this point in time. And we have got here, you are the, at the divine Y point. Yeah, there's there's the path that is really, really happy and joyful. And there's a path here that's full, full of turmoil and trouble. Um, so they are they are a crossroads, I think. You're at a crossroads with them at this relationship. You you might actually be beyond a Y point. You might have make a, made a decision. Um, okay, let's get some more information here. King of Spring, innovative, wise, theatrical. And the three of autumn, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Career, career, career. So the information that this person is being given from the universe is to um, start to enjoy what you do more, um, start to follow your passion as opposed to follow just your um, uh idea that you need to please other people or that life is all about making money like money is there to be enjoyed it's just a tool to have a great life experience and so the universe is trying to help to inspire them to be a little bit more um trusting and thoughtful about 
how much time and balance that they spend between doing things that they enjoy and and leading with um leading with having fun as opposed to treading the path of um like just just kind of career 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 okay so uh who is influencing this person back to the 2d like the 3d world who and what what kind of energies influence this person what other people influence them we have got the hedonist light attributes creates inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life celebrates the beauty in yourself i believe this is this is your energy you're really very very light and happy um yeah, I feel that you're very you're very joyful and angel, okay, in reverse light attribute, helping those in need and no expectation of return. Shadow attributes, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others, falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance. I think there's somebody around them that is um persuading them to um to give more help than they need to give. So somebody is coming across as being like a great boss to them, but then is draining their life force. Whereas you're kind of like, come on, let's go out and play more. And you're competing for their energy um, because somebody is, um, maybe somebody is giving them false promises about their career, about leading them towards a path that's going to like give them more fulfillment. Um, and what they're doing is they're forgetting to, they're forgetting to enjoy the fun in life. Okay. Two more cards here. The King of Summer, honourable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted, and Prince of Winter, trustful, inquisitive, realistic, and diplomatic. So they are so who so they are influenced by they are influenced by you. Like so here, I think the King of Summer is this romantic partner you can trust. They're very influenced by the security and the grounded reality that you provide in their life. But I feel that they're also they can also be influenced by people who who are not very trustworthy but they trust so there are people who want to kind of take advantage of them here um who can actually be very unrealistic and undiplomatic um but this person see oh, sees your person sees the good in a, in everybody and so they love the romance and fun with you but they are also kind of being um guided to deliver too much for someone else Okay, so we have got, what are the blocks to this connection at this point in time? If any. Or the blocks to, yeah, not necessarily to the connection, but what blocks are, are showing up in the connection? We have got risk and mimicry. Yeah, this person doesn't want to take a risk financially. And they are copying somebody. They're copying somebody. They're copying a leader at work. They're copying. They're copying somebody else's patterns about working too hard. And we have got the tennis spring. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. <laughs> yep. And we have got the six of spring. Wonderful news is on the way. Smart choices, success, and public recognition. Okay. What are the blocks? This person is. Yeah. Um, working too hard <laughs> okay they're risk adverse financially they've got it in their head they're copying somebody that they know that is like you have to work hard they've got this kind of mantra in their head um, taking on other people's responsibilities taking on other people's burdens and kind of focusing on goals okay and that 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 I think is really detracting from the fun of life and the fun of you and the fun of the love of being together Okay, so what are this person's uh, intentions with you and this relationship? We have got sorrow, loss, grief, depression, nourish, self-growth, self-focused, soul-finding. Okay. And we have got... Five of summer, trust that there is a reason for everything. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. And we've got the five of winter. Okay, walk away from dishonest associations, realizing what, that what you thought wasn't the first choice for your happiness. So what this person's intentions are is to 
Okay, there's two ways of reading this. Please take it as it resonates. And this is not advice or guidance, but what I will say from what I'm seeing here is that if you're with this person, I really would strongly recommend an advocate that you demand more time for yourself with this person if you if you want to. Um, because this is somebody who's very focused on trying to meet the needs, although they might be feeling like they're doing it for, for a good intention to provide it feels that there's actually quite a lot of sorrow that's going on in this relationship where both of you are perhaps needing to find nourishment and um, growth from, from somewhere within that isn't necessarily about you coming together at this point in time. And the fives here can be about stress and conflict and instability, and they can also be about sudden and unexpected change. So what the positive in this, I'm going to read this positively. Um, and you'll know the positive in this is that their intentions are to to be more nourishing about sowing the seeds of what they really love and to move away and and to and to make sure that that they're not so they're not sad about this relationship that they do stop the conflict that is going on between work and perhaps arguments that are happening between you um and and their intention is to actually do something about that um there is potentially that their intention here is to um is to continue to be self-focused. I'm just going to say how it is. I don't want you to be upset with me. I just, I'm, please, I'm only reading what the cards say here. It's really important in this situation that you do what is right for you and that you look after yourself and you're nourishing yourself. And if this person is causing you some sorrow and some grief, perhaps even something like counselling would really help you But to to come together and talk about the, the, the sort of work time balance, the influences of other people that are maybe driving them to want to achieve. Because... Like, I'm sure this person is doing a lot of this with good intention to maybe deliver for you. Okay, so what actions is this person going to take? So their intention is to try to do something about any conflict between you because they don't want to feel that it's, it. they don't want to be sad about this. They want to nourish the relationship. Okay, forgive and time apart. Okay, I hope you'll forgive me for all the things I've done and all the pain. Time apart is giving us both an opportunity to work on ourselves to be the best version of ourselves. So yeah, for some of you, you may be, you may be in like a, a break. You you may have given them an ultimatum. I feel for some of you and and walked away. Um, but they are wanting forgiveness. So what actions do they want to take? They want to make sure that they use the time apart to grow themselves they don't want you to see them like this okay so they want to they do want to they do want to become a better version of themselves the two of spring a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity and the queen of summer loving comforting emotionally intuitive this person in terms of actions does want to come back to you okay so this is taking action the choice to move back towards you. They're saying that they're making good progress on healing their challenges and they are listening to their heart. They, they want, they actually want you to listen to them. Um, and they want to take care of you. They're getting a lot of insights about you at this point in time. They're getting a lot of insights about themselves as well. And it really is their desire to take action towards you to, to, to look after you it's entirely up to you whether you want that in return okay so you understanding your boundaries and, and what's important to you is is really really important in this situation okay so finally any guidance or any other messages from the universe or just anything else that we need to know about this connection commitment proposal marriage high level of commitment winter december january february okay for, so for some of you this could well be potentially a commitment from them or it could be you could end up in a commitment with somebody else with the winter january february december january february um it could be something that's still got a bit of time to to, to happen um it could be that there's just a, a kind of an unfreezing of this situation that needs to take place first um or you need to freeze this situation and um you know take steps to to move to somebody who who does want a commitment to you and not just to their work okay and we have got release okay let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities time to move on okay so again this is just some advice please take that if it resonates but it's pretty clear black and white that it might be the time to release this connection 
um, or release yourself from this connection, please take that as it resonates. And we've got four of spring. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness are content into personal life. So the four of spring is the 1111 card. There is a beautiful commitment available for you. It may be that you just need to release yourself from this situation and release yourselves from um, understanding what this person is all about at this point in time. There could be, again, the four of spring is actually a card of marriage and stability and comfort as well and celebration. So flanked for you by two cards of commitment and celebration, if that's something that's interesting to you. In here, we've got release yourself from the, and winter is also about unfreezing yourself. Unfreeze this situation for yourself with or without this person is the advice that's coming through. Um, but there is something beautiful and committed and stable for you in the future, which could be, what do we, when I'm, these are timeless messages. Um, so I'm recording this in May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So between the next seven to nine months, you could expect a step change in the, your stability and how you're feeling about um, any relationship very well could be a new one. Um, if these healings and this hurt and this time apart and this kind of rethink and transformation couldn't necessarily be achieved. Um, we have got commitment twice in here, but this is at a 5D level. So maybe at a 5D level, we'll eventually end up at a 3D level if that's something that you feel that you're ready for and want to accept. And if you're already married to this person, this could be a, a kind of renewed set of, right, I'm going to commit to actually getting away from work and releasing myself from work this is the person speaking here and be more stable a more stable loving partner um but it feels like there's a lot of work to do here pile number two so i'm just going to leave it there i really hope this helps and um it gives you some insight into what's going on as well energetically okay take care of yourself thank you bye hey pile number three welcome to your reading you chose the guardian of the night tarot along with the tiger's eye dog charm. So we are going to be asking today what your person, the person on your mind is thinking and feeling about you and also what their intentions are about this connection, this relationship, this um, uh, situationship, if that's relevant, and what are their intentions towards you, let's put it like that. Okay, so we are going to start with just an overall sense of the energy to see what is going on. We have got here the Ten of Pentacles. We have got the Four of Swords. We have got the Seven of Cups. We have got the Two of Pentacles. We have got the Magician. Uh, I'm actually just going to get a couple of oracle cards as well because I, I can go two ways with this. I'm just going to get a little bit more information. One, two, three. We have got here autumn, earth sign, and true love. And couple of charms we've got a lotus flower and we have got a heart that's not quite filled in i am getting the sense that this is somebody that you are you're both very keen on each other with the ten of pentacles you feel that this is something that is very um you feel very fortunate to be with each other. You feel that this is something that you've perhaps both really wanted. But there is some kind of energy that's holding you back. Um, I think you're both in the process of still working on, on yourselves to find self-love, to recover from previous situations. And that you have been through a period of really understanding who you are, your choices in life. And I think you've both been doing this. So I, th I do feel that you're in connection with this person. 
and you've perhaps manifested each other it's manifested some kind of um you know real understanding about what love is but in order to do that you've had to do a lot of self mastery you've had to really come into union with yourself you've had to really understand the choices that you have available to who you are and it's been qu- quite a lot of hard work with earth sign here it's like you've had to be very down to earth about who you are and what you need turning over perhaps new leaves about um what it is that you want out of life maybe with the autumn you're kind of in that phase of your life where you're um, just a bit older a bit more mature you don't have to be age-wise but certainly experience-wise you've had a lot of experience in life that have made you really certain or really understanding about how you want your world to go around Um, and being really clear about what you want in your life how you manifest what you want in your life so I feel that you're quite um aware very spiritually aware and I feel that your person is too I think you're very much in 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 alignment with each other I think you're kind of working out we've got true love here and there's a lot of peace but there's a lot of space in your heart for other things as well there's a lot of space in each other in your hearts for each other but that's because you've been through a lot of life lessons and you're very determined to have stability and self-love um you know the, the the ability to do things that you love that doesn't necessarily have to be with this person and vice versa so i feel there's a lot of i'm feeling a lot of calm around this this energy um a lot of self acceptance a lot of balance and a lot of love but i feel it's cautious there's a cautiousness about it. It feels amazing, but there's also a cautiousness about it. There's a there's a need to maintain your freedom. You both need to be you ne- both need to be really sure that you can maintain your freedom and keep space in your heart for doing things that you love as well as for the love of the connection. Okay, so what is this person thinking about you? We have got boundaries and anger. Okay. I'm actually thinking, I, I'm I'm feeling this person is angry that they haven't found you before, that you really understand them. And and it and it's almost like a sense of frustration. It's like, why why have I managed to get to the autumn of my life? Or why, why have I managed to have all of these experiences? And and it's taken me this long in my life journey today, even if you're young, but they feel like they've been through a lot of experiences to understand somebody who's actually prepared to honor my boundaries. Yeah, the king of wands, wow. And strength. The, this person is really feeling that you get them, that you really honour their their needs. Their, they feel that they're able to be themselves and able to be vulnerable with you. They feel very secure in the fact that you're not going to try to tread on their toes, to control them, to not allow them to be free, to not allow them to be their spiritual self, to, to not allow them to be at peace. They've had people in their past who've really trampled over, all over their boundaries and made them, you know, actually they probably should have been angry and they weren't angry at the time when people trampled over their boundaries or they had to argue, but they're not an argumentative person. They're actually a very spiritual, peaceful person. And they're angry that they haven't met you before uh, before now, that it's taken this long for somebody as amazing as you to come along into their lives. Um, and you might feel the same. But I think you're just you're very you're very you're a very peaceful person. You're a very peaceful spiritual energy. Um, so this person is um, kind of frustrated at themselves at life that you haven't been with them before. So this might be a reasonably new connection, and you're getting to know each other. And the the more this person gets to know you, they realize that this is really what true love is all about. And they're just like, oh, why didn't I have this before? Why did I have to go through the pain and the hardship? but you they they feel very topped up and very strong when they're with you okay so how do they feel wow you (laughs) they want to feel you (laughs) literally um and forgiveness they feel so able to be themselves and that you're also allowing them the this sense of being able to be vulnerable with themselves that they can forgive all of their past experiences um you know, they might have been made to feel very guilty about things in the past, but you're just accepting them. They feel very accepted as themselves. Wow. And the world and the and the death. They feel reborn. They feel absolutely reborn. They feel they feel that they could achieve anything. They feel that life has 
suddenly got a new sense of fulfillment, a, a new sense of wholeness. That there's a new sense of accomplishment that comes. Um, yeah, they feel reborn with you. They feel able to be themselves, like 100% fully. You're meeting them where they're at, irrespective of their of their past. And this is really enlightening with for them. As I said, it kind of makes them feel angry that it hasn't happened before. Okay, so at a 5D level, so that's a 3D level, how they feel about you. At a 5D level, so going to their higher self, their soul now. Wow, connection. We've got a cicada, the six of the lovers, and we've got a manifestation. Yeah, this person has, they, they feel, we've got the magician here. They just feel so lucky. They feel so connected to you. Um, they feel like they've called you in from called you in from the spirit realm and we got the knight of wands and we got the five of swords you're really helping this person to have the passion and 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 courage to overcome any feelings of self-doubt any decision indecisions um all the losses that they've experienced in the past that you are bringing them into balance and they have this divine divine love for you um and um yeah they want to they want to take they want to they want to move forward in a way where they don't you know there there is no indecision as far as they're concerned anymore there there has been a lot in the past perhaps when they've suggested things they've come up against a lot of opposition whereas now you're just like everything's dreamy and floating okay so what what messages is the universe sending to them so what signals and signs are they receiving from external guidance from spirit allow your work to become your art they think you're a work of art and a light grows brighter only by lighting another okay this person has been guided to you they feel you've been guided to them they feel you're such a bright light in their life um ten of wands and page of wands the universe is guiding them to put down the burdens of um life and just allow themselves to rise to 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 enjoy the art of life to enjoy the art of living to the enjoy the the light that is between you look how this is lit up i just love how that is so light um in the light i'll just reduce it slightly just so you can read the card but it's i love how that card is lit up um so they they want to help reduce any burdens that you feel that you want to carry um we've got the page of wands they they just have this creative enthusiastic love of life um and perhaps the universe is guiding them to to do something creative with you um to to complete the cycle of um like doing things to please other people and to come together with you to do something incredibly creative and incredibly beautiful things that just light you up both of you and the universe is just saying yep just keep following the light that is pile number three and they are like yes please yummy 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 i want to be around pile number three i feel so safe and so secure and so lit up okay so what kind of energy has been influencing them what kind of people's energy um has been influencing them in the past or influencing them now artists maybe you are an artist with this allow your work to become your work of art and you're inspiring them to actually adopt art or like things talents creative talents that they have expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses inspiring others to see symbolically and rebel challenges authority to affect social change rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs so this person is very much influenced by um allowing the flow of creativity and um to to not allow um you know spiritual systems with really heavy frameworks to influence them they 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 love the freedom that you give them to express um to express and connect to your souls without other people telling you this is the only way to do it so they're a very free spirit as are you the three of cups wow community and friendship soul tribe energy and seven of swords so this person is very influenced by um yeah light hearted and creative energy they're influenced by people who love uh, community, soul tribe, and they're also influenced um, and have a lot of strength and courage and passion to challenge um, institutional thinking 
and um, where people are like spreading delusion, doing things behind other people's backs. So this person is very grounded in um, authenticity and integrity. Okay, what blocks, if any, are there to this connection? Observation and growth. Okay, no blocks really, as far as I can see, but we'll just get a couple of tarot cards. Um, just time, that's all. Yeah, eight of pentacles and the moon. Ha, I love this. Okay, so there are no blocks to this connection, but there is a gentleness of wanting to take things slowly and just to, there's not, I'm not getting the cautious energy, it's just to be, be thoughtful about growing and mastering and understanding each other, um, observing what each other needs, um, understanding each other's fears, understanding each other's intuitive and psychic gifts. So I don't see any blocks here whatsoever. I just feel a a real allowing of things to unfold naturally and gently and purposefully. Um, so getting to know each other on on all that on all levels, mind, body, soul. Um, if you think even deeper than that, all the chakras. So understanding each other's spirituality, understanding what's in each other's hearts, understanding what each other has to say. Um, you know, listen deep, active listening towards each other, um, understanding each other's bodies, understanding each other's creativity, understanding each other's um, kind of uh, material habits and health. So a real, just a a real slow, deepening, very spiritual, very um, very interested energy here. So no blocks. Okay, what are this person's intentions towards you? Farewells leave behind and closure and finality and chemistry, attraction, spark and passion. So this person's intentions is just to leave their past behind, to be honest. It's just to close the door on the fact that they you know, the past, they were angry that they hadn't met anyone like you and move towards this light that is you, this part, this passion. You, you've, you've given them the strength and the courage and the passion to, to finally walk away from things that don't serve them and move towards the light of you. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and we've got the Ace of Wands. They they love your independence. They love, they feel that they're able to reclaim their sovereignty for any bits of them that, that are not able to do that and the ace of wands they they just feel so inspired and so passionate when they're around you and that they want to keep keep the magic going to keep coming up with ideas and and ways to grow and to to keep them to keep the magic and the sovereignty at the same time so they love the fact that you're both sovereign entities and they also love the fact that there's always something new there's always something to explore with you um and maybe you're thinking about traveling the world together or going traveling here with the train tracks it's like leaving behind um a life that wasn't suiting them and moving towards the light and the fun and the and just the joy of living okay so what actions are they going to take towards you so that's their intentions and then we'll have actions what actions are they going to suggest oops Let's take those two. We have got inspiration and changing. Wow. Okay. There's no one else who inspires me the way you do. And I'm working hard to change. Your love is inspiring. So if there are some less and final changes that they need to make here, um, you're just inspiring them to, to keep changing, to keep moving towards growth. So the actions that they're taking are, to keep growing themselves and to keep finding ways to work with you and inspire and the lovers wow okay and we've got the queen of cups Woo, wow 
you're opening them up to their real self-compassion. You're opening them up to their intuition. Um, this person just loves you. They worship the ground you walk on. Um, what actions are they going to take towards you? They're just going to continue this beautiful journey that I feel that you're on to to getting closer and closer. Maybe if you just know this person, they would love to become your lover, like to become a an energy that is perhaps more permanent in your life. They just want to keep diving deeper and deeper and deeper into the emotional um, depths that you create together when when you are together on, on whatever level. Even if you didn't want a physical relationship with them, this person just loves hanging out with the, the depths of your um, capability, your talent, your creativity. I can see you spending weeks sitting side by side creating art together for example it it's it feels so gentle and flowing and beautiful okay so some final advice then or so some final messages whether that's from the universe or from them um we have got here cycle karmic cycles ending past patterns and dreams divine guidance believe pay attention you are as far as this person's concerned you are their dream and I feel that is very um, reciprocal and it's like there's a new phase of life. This is this is like the next phase of life, like a dream come true. And we have got the four of ones, stability, perhaps even marriage and ace of pentacles. Um, yeah, opportunity. They want to make an offer. Perhaps they want to give you a gift. Um, they certainly feel... They certainly feel that this is the stable, it's stable life partner. It's just so much, so much joy, comfort, celebration, maybe offering to celebrate something with you. Look how this is lit up again. It's um, I'm actually even having to turn the light down further than I think I've ever done. You really light this person up. This is very, 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 very beautiful energy. Pal number three, I could hang out in this energy all day. I feel actually, to be honest with you, quite jealous that you have this kind of connection. So I shouldn't say that, but I think it's something we all aspire to. So if this is um, if this is feeling right for you, then um, I really hope this helps and hopes you understand, helps, ha hope this helps you understand just how deeply um, safe emotionally safe that this person feels with you and just so open spiritually to to have uh, a life of beautiful experiences going forward and leave behind anything now that is like just past it's like you're giving this person real belief that past is the past and the future is bright and full of amazing things okay i'm gonna leave it there and thank you so much what a beautiful reading uh, take care. Bye. Hey, pile number four, welcome to your reading. <clears throat> no, excuse me, clearing my throat. Okay, so maybe this person wants to clear their throat to say something to you. Okay, so you chose the moon child tarot here and this beautiful crystal. And so we're going to be asking what your person is thinking about you, what they're feeling about you, and what are their intentions towards you. So I'm going to start by getting an overall sense of the energy of this connection or of what's going on for this person or what's going on for you as well. We'll see which of these um, is relevant. So let's start with we have got strength. We have got queen of cups. We have got the two of cups. Wow. We have got the nine of pentacles. And we have got the seven of swords. Okay. All right. Part number four. This person has you on a pedestal. Um, they think you are the best thing since sliced bread. They think you are independent. They think that you're strong, that they think that you are um, a gift from the universe. Um, they see you as definite soulmate material. Um, they are not sure that they are worthy of you. They're not sure that they're good enough for you. Um, so they are feeling a little bit insecure because they feel that you're so strong. Okay, so let's get a couple of charms. We have got a moth. Yeah, you are really the light to their flame. You are a moth. They are a moth to your flame. And we have got a key. So they're trying to find the key. Maybe they're trying to find a key to unlock your heart. 
Um, they're certainly trying to find a key to unlock their fear of not being good enough for you. Or you, they feel that you hold a key to life for them in some way. So there is a there is a disparity in yeah there's a disparity in hierarchy here that they they they've they've reduced themselves and maybe you feel comfortable about that but I'm getting an energy that they they may not be able to connect to you at the right level because they've kind of almost put you too high above them at this point in time but let's follow that through and see so what are they actually thinking uh we got here so what is pile number four's person thinking we've got change wow look at the fiery passionate energy here and strength lovely okay so we've got the strength basically coming out twice so uh we have got here We have got the three of wands and we've got the five of cups. Yeah. This person thinks that they need to change to be strong enough and be good enough for you. They are um, very focused on growth and um, finding their creativity. They're also focused on, they are focused a little bit on not having enough for you. Um, and they are needing to find the strength to change that. They kind of know that. They kind of know that they need to um change some of their bad behaviors or their kind of behavior patterns that don't serve them so this person is 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 inspired by you you are giving them the strength to be to be more to do more to achieve more but it's also for some reason highlighting for them what they don't have as well so this person's this seven of wands is kind of confirmed by this energy that they're they have this passion like you 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 put a fire in their belly to want to do more to be more to 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 create more to inspire more to grow more um but every time they do that they yeah, i'm really really inspired but how am i ever going to be enough for pile number four Okay, so that's what they're thinking. What are they feeling? On a 3D level, what they're feeling is education and they're feeling learning. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, two cards are pretty much saying the same thing. Oh, that one's sitting there. It wants to come out. It wouldn't come off the bottom. We've got the four of wands. And we have got the three of pentacles. So what this person is feeling is that they you're 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 teaching them to feel actually you're you're teaching them a lot about themselves they're feeling that they're growing they're feeling that they're they're well they feel very secure when they're around you there there's an 11 11 here so they might be feeling messages from they might be learning about messages from the universe with the three of pentacles here they they are they feel very creative when they were around you they really feel that they would love to cooperate with you in some way and learn from you as well. They feel that you they could learn so much from you. Um, so you're very like that you are very much an inspiration. Maybe you even work with this person for some of you, or you might be studying with them. Um, and they love just watching you and listening and learning from what you have to say. So you make them feel expanded. Okay. At a 5D level, how are they feeling about you? So this is their soul or higher self. They are feeling resolving conflict. Okay. And we have got intimacy. Oh, we have got here the king of swords. And we have got four cards want to come out i'm going to do that and take those we've got the seven of cups we've got the eight of cups and we've got the nine of cups that's really interesting because these cards are, are shuffled and they shouldn't come out in sequence even though they were so this so there's a progression here so this person is how they're feeling in a 5d level is that they are they've had to overcome some um, fears of intimacy. They've had to cut over. So this is at a 5D level, so it's not with you. They've really had been working on overcoming some fears of um, uh, commitment um, and not necessarily fears of sexual intimacy. That one wants to come out as well. Here we go, page of ones. Um, they, they just have fears of being close to somebody and they've been working very, very hard on that. They've been really... Um, 
under, trying to understand their thoughts. They've been understanding perhaps why they why they made choices in the past that they made. Perhaps they were somebody who always kept their choices open. They always kept their options open. And now they're letting go of that because they really want to move towards happy. They want to find happy ever after. That's something that's really, really important to them. And they're really, really doing the work on understanding why that is. Why Why did they, why did they always show up with an energy of choices? Perhaps at one point in time, you were an option to them that, you know, that you were, or they treated you like an option uh, but they're letting go of that behavior and they want to choose happy they want to choose love they want to choose a life that is full of joy and compassion and loving energy and, and, and intimacy on all levels um, and overcome their fears of intimacy and here with the page of ones they really want to to reach out and and, and make an offer towards you that they, they 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 feel so much joy that it's here they've got a gift they want to reach out and say i, I really I actually really, really want to connect with you in a way that is um, about love and to speak my truth and mental and, and mental courage. So at a 5D level, the spiritual self is is a huge amount of processing going on for them. I just had a wee pause and, and I had a cup of tea that needed to be finished. So I had I just drank my cup of tea, which is always really relevant when I feel drawn to finish it. Um, that this person is taking quite a lot of time out and maybe having many, many cups of tea, like actually listening to their spiritual self and processing what's going on here for them because they're, they're, they're profoundly influenced by you. And they're trying to find the key to understanding for themselves and unlocking what it is um, and how that they could be in union with you in a way that would be, the right way as opposed to the um the unhealed way if you like um okay so what signs are this person getting from the universe so what is the universe helping them with nudging them towards yeah that one what is that one say yes to open your door and 22 okay so the universe is has been guiding them to walk through the door of their spiritual self and connect to their spirit side okay soul giraffe wow and we have got synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space so the universe is nudging them to get in touch to to connect to their gentle side to see that bigger picture to to feed off the nourishment that is like the top of the tree um, that one's off the bottom ones to come out. The three of cups, yeah, to walk towards their divine union. And we have got the hermit. Okay, so the universe is nudging them to come out of hermit mode and to start to walk towards soul tribe, like to, to rise above, to see the gentleness inside that they have. And here we've got this door opening, walking through as well. And on the bottom of this deck that we have to say yes to opening your door. So the universe is guiding them to walk through the door of the, the next phase of their life. They've been doing a lot of deep introspection. They've been working out who their friends really are. Um, and they've also been connecting to the, to the real gentleness that is them inside, the real truth of who they are. So perhaps on the outside there, they're a bit of a, bit of a strong leader for example but actually on the inside they're a very very gentle person okay so that's what the universe has been doing to help them and also the universe has been sending them signs and signals as well but perhaps also guiding them to start to get in touch and so we have then got um who influences this person in the external world so what kind of what kind of energy kind of gets to them and has perhaps been an influence in their life so other people's energy, other people's capabilities. Okay, so prince, light attribute, romantic charm, and potential for power, but actually we've got a shadow attribute here, using power for self-aggrandizement. Okay, so this person has been in the past a player, um, and that will be because perhaps they've been influenced by other people, seeing other people doing that and having success. But I do feel this is something this person has been working on. And we've got here advocate light attribute inspires you to put compassion into action and shadow attribute embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain. Yeah, this person has been influenced by other people who've been a bit selfish or who perhaps have um, uh, taught them to um, taught them to use the material world to try to get ahead. And we have got here the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they've been influenced by people who have said that, you know, you need to go out and work hard and be expansive and create opportunities for yourself and, you know, communicate and get things done. Um, And so this person, I think, is a real go getter, um, but they have perhaps been focused on um, achieving based on um, looking good or receiving rewards from other people. Um, but this person is doing a lot of self-work for that soul draft to come through. All of these are, 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 are kind of um, flowing away. So, But this is like sh- shadow energy that has influenced them in the past to get to where they are currently. Um, I feel that they are a good communicator. And they, and 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 they and I actually think they actually probably really love work as well. I think that's something that really they they just enjoy the process of working and getting things done and making things happen. So those are positives. The shadow attributes are just perhaps they've had. And we all have, haven't we? We've all kind of done things to help get ourselves ahead, and I think that's kind of something that they've been doing in the past, and maybe still do as well. Okay, what are the blocks to this connection, if any? That one. Okay, those two there. We have got communication and luck. <laughs> okay. And we have got that one. And nope. Any other blocks? Oops. Take that one there. We have got the tower. And we have got the page of pentacles. Okay, I feel that this person doesn't really know what to say to you. Um, And they're hoping that they're just going to bump into you. And the universe is saying, or they're hoping for some sudden and unexpected change. And the universe is going to create an opportunity. So the the page of pentacles, there will be an opportunity. And I think this person is like the blocks are that perhaps you're not in communication at this point in time. And it's just like, if only I don't know what to say. If only I could just bump into pile number four. Um, or I need a stroke of luck because I don't know if pile number four would want to communicate with me because, as I said, they kind of got you on this pedestal. So, Or maybe you're in communication and you work with this person, for example, and they're just like, oh, you know, it'll be a stroke of luck if I can get to, you know, maybe work on a project with pile number four or I, I have to go on a business trip and therefore we get a chance where we have to communicate. And the, the this person is just hoping for something that will create an opportunity where they can get a chance to communicate with you. But they're also they're also hoping as opposed to maybe doing something about it. But the universe is going to do something about it because the, the tower is about things are kind of made to happen when the time's right and the opportunities are created. So luck will be created. If that resonates you don't have to communicate with them obviously that's entirely up to you but this is what this person is hoping for okay so what are their intentions towards you she got three okay we have got here abandoned left out walked away and cold Bluff, pretending mask exaggeration and divine masculine yang masculine energy. This person wants to take off their mask. That's what their intentions are. Um, they are um, without you. They feel that they're out in the cold. Um, and this person really wants to um, step into their divine energy and make make things happen. We've got the page of swords. And we have got divine wisdom. Yeah. This person wants to come towards you. They want to take off the mask. They want to close the gap. Um, Their intentions are to, if they have perhaps abandoned you, perhaps if you know this person and they kind of abandoned you and they haven't, there's been a a communication gap. um, Or if this person kind of works with you, but they don't, for example, or that you see them out with friends and they kind of don't come near you is because when they're with other people, they have to wear this mask and they, and they feel um, unable to step outside of their comfort zone when they're around other people. But what their intention are is, is to reclaim their inner power and here with a page of swords to communicate, to send you a message, to ask you what you're up to, um, to come and seek out your divine wisdom, to, to share They're receiving divine wisdom They're they're here with this. It's like, they've got, 
it's almost like this cosmic downloads coming in. They're really tuning into their thoughts and their their intention is to say, um, can I can I share our wisdom together? If there's been some past happenings, they want to be able to talk about that as well. They want to find the strength and courage and the passion that they have here and the strength that they're trying to find to be true, to be really, really true and come together um, to, to, to just to talk right here, to talk about what they've learned about themselves. Okay, so what are the actions is this person going to take towards part number four? What is part number four's person's actions? Communication. Ha, there we go. All right. I need to talk to you and feel you close and blessed. I'm blessed beyond measure to share such, such a powerful divine love with you. I'm so grateful for you. You're a precious gift in my life. Perhaps they want to give you a gift and get those three. We have got here moon child. Wow. Okay. We have got the universe. <laughs> And we have got the two of pentacles. This person really is, this is divinely guided. This person is very, very deep. Moon child can also be about communication. It's about communicating the depths of how they feel with you. Here with the blessed, we've got somebody who's actually got, um, uh, there's a pregnant lady on here. So they might want to give birth to a new dawning of era of time with you. Here we've got the universe. Actually, there's almost like this person is now holding this, this, this gift. They perhaps want to give you a gift. They want to work with you. They want to create an opportunity with you. This person just feels like life is life is right. It comes into alignment when they're with you. So their intention towards you is to communicate. Okay. They really want to reach out. They're afraid. You don't all obviously have to communicate back with them. Pile number four. This is um, you know, this is total choice here going on. Okay, so any far, final messages from the universe? We've got the universe already here present. We have got here self-love. You are enough. Know your worth, body positivity, and celebrate fun party celebration and events. So this advice from the universe for you is just saying be very, very true to yourself. Celebrate life. Celebrate who you are. The more you move towards self-love, the more the right person can come to you. That is the key for you, and it is also the key for them. And we have got the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, really communicate clearly to yourself and to the universe what you want out of life. What are your manifestations? What are your passions? Keep moving yourself forward in the truth of who you are and the truth and the self-expression and courage of who you are. And that, in turn, keeps lighting up that energy that comes from within you. It is the key to having an incredible relationship, such as this one, if this one resonates for you. And allows the person, this person, the space and the energy to take off their mask, to take off their sense of um, victim and energy and um, abandonment um, and to abandon the need to be like independently, just completely on their own, because they do feel safe around you when you're in self-love and you're celebrating life and that you're not putting an energy of any energy of dependency on them because they see you on a pedestal. So they do not want you to diminish yourself what they need to do is realize that they are the key to them being able to provide and be an incredible person to you is to celebrate themselves too. And therefore you can celebrate a union together if you so choose and want to. Um, and that is entirely in your gift because the gift that you can give to yourself, pal number four, is that self-love, um, speaking your truth, being able to communicate very, very, very clearly and objectively about what you want out of life, what you would love to have, what passions you have, what inspires you, what, what you want to manifest, what you want to celebrate. And then that person can enjoy that with you or you can do part of that with yourself. They can do things with themselves. Um, and the key to that coming together is that you just keep focusing on you and that makes you a light and a moth to their flame or to somebody else's flame who will be even more incredibly um, uh, in tune with who you are um, as they come into in tune and union with who they are. 
Okay, pile number four, I'm going to leave it there. I really, really hope it helps. But just know that their intention is to communicate with you um, and just how much you mean to them and that they are very being very guided by the universe um, to perhaps bring in an offer for you to come into balance. It's, it's about each of you coming into balance. And then when you're in balance, you will have choices um, and they may just be a choice. Um, it's entirely up to you. Okay, I hope that really helps. Take care. Bye.